Okay, I'm not gonna do my intro today. I accidentally went ahead and activated the next cutscene on accident. So this is gonna be part of uh, part 12. So this will be like 12 one, then the rest of the video will be 12 two. Anyway, I'm gonna get this cutscene over with. God, you guys took your sweet butt time getting over here. God dang, I forgot to do this. Okay. Whatever. This is where we're supposed to be. Come on. We didn't take long at all. Don't be so impatient. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. The power just flickered again at such a convenient time. Looks like they're locked in and we're locked out. The generator should be somewhere around here. Let's just reset it ourselves. And right here we have an antidote. Okay. I'm just gonna end this part of this video right here. And I'll just record the next episode later on today. I'll see you all. Technically you all see me in a few seconds. By whole one second. But to me, it'll be a good few hours. So, see you all in a bit. Hello everyone, I am now back after that misfortune with the, um, continuing on with the story, um, that was completely by accident, I did not mean to continue the story, but, whoopsie me, I accidentally got too close to the point of process, but anyway, you're probably now wondering, why the heck am I back in here? Why am I back at the laboratory again? Well, I captured, and I mean a lot, of new teammates. And here they are. I've captured Trubbish, Coughing, Noibat, Geodude, Grimer, Caterpie, Mankey, Bidoof, and Squavit. Uh, these are all brand new mainline team members. These will be um, coming with us for our entire adventures. Out of the few that are my favorites, Mankey's my favorite, and Grimer's my favorite. And I guess you could say um, Shrubbish is also um, my favorite. Um, anyway, before we um, go back into the sewers, um, I would like to mention as to how I'm going to be doing. Um, Pokemon capturing from now on. Uh, first off, if I'm capturing them off screen, I will not be using them or training them until I um, show you all the new team members. Unless, if I can get them on screen, then I can use them. So, that's going to kind of make it hard for me because then i got to choose between like Oh, hey, what should I do? Should I show off the new team members? Or should I show off... Or should I... Not show off, um... Or should I continue with the main story? So, I'm going to be doing that. I like to have myself a little challenge. I already made this game hard enough, but just to add in the difficulty to my punishment, I'm just going to do just that. So, yes, from now on, if I'm going to show off the brand new... If I'm going to show off the new Pokemon... I had to do them first. If I get them off screen, oh wait, no, no, no. Let me try this. Let me try this again. If I capture them off screen, I can't use them until I show y'all the new Pokemon that I, ca that I captured for the team. If how I ever capture them on screen, um, I can I can use them whenever I please. By the way, out of some of these Pokemon here, I recommend getting Geodude. He's going to be your biggest help. Um, he has a 1% catch rate. I mean, uh, he has a 
1% chance of showing up. That's why I meant to say. So I recommend you get yourself a Geodude because the upcoming gym leader is going to... You're going to really need a Geodude for the upcoming gym leader. Trust me on this, folks. But anyway, that's all I was going to do here. I was going to show you all the new team members. Um, also, I gave some of the other team members some names. I named... Ah, uh, it's a female, that's right. I named this Meowth, that's right, from the um, Meowth in the anime that would constantly say, Meow, that's right. Um, who who did I just randomly named Bob for no reason? I couldn't come up with a nickname, so Bob the Hoot Hoot. I gave uh, Chingling Echo Bell. I gave Chingling the Echo Bell nickname because Bell's Cree and Echo when I'm um, using them. Yeah, I found that you can all re recognize the nickname with, with uh, my Glammy out here naming her Mars because of the memorable Team Galactic member that's named Mars. Because we all love that purr ugly that she had. Up here is uh, Buizel. I gave him the nickname Jet. And maybe because he's a fast water type Pokemon. So, so I think you could say like a jet boat. Make a little sense. Because the tails on its um because the um the tails on the, because on the back the tails actually act like a like a jet boat with its <sighs> dogs, what can I say? Give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, I am now back. Uh, my folks just came in from their work. Uh, my mom goes to a school in my little, um... Excuse me. My little um, niece goes into a... Just graduated her final year of elementary. Anyway, nothing about them. They're, they're precious to me, but... That's all. I'm just gonna say why I had to click away real quick. Anyway, as terms of some of the other team members... I gave Warble no nickname yet because I can't come up with a nickname. Wheel, nothing yet. Shuppet, nothing yet. Yep. But hey. At least y'all got to see ya. Actually, you know what? Let me take Warble. I'm gonna take Warble with me. Uh, we'll re. The yeah, Aran goes right here. Anyway, I'll go ahead and meet y'all back at the sewers. Okay, and I have now returned back to my usual point. Oh, let me guess, there's Geodude. No, over there is a Poochyena. Oh yeah, um, by the way, I took away the Poochyena I was currently, um, had for the main team. I did not, um, yeah, I did not want that ability at all rattle. Or whatever the heck it's called. Um, that ability works on... It works... Like, you saw how it worked right there. Instead of... Like, when, um... Like, when, um... Rin brought in, in his, um, Growlithe, who had Timnate. Instead of Poochie and, uh, losing attack, he gained attack. Do I have any repels, or... Do I have to save that for another time? Nope, I have a burn heal. Okay, let's just uh, go ahead and continue on with the story. Let's see, what's going on here? Ah, story process. Hmm, yeah, this looks like the place. What do we have to do to reset the generator again? I think Milia told me how to do it once. It went working like 3 plus 1 plus 2. It is a solution to our generator resetting problems. 3 plus 1 plus 2. But what could that even mean? These numbers together equal 6, but is that even relevant? Perhaps we need to activate the generator in a certain order. 3 plus 1 plus 2. So, like he said right there, we just can't go like, okay, poof 1, poof 2, and poof 3. 
that order is determined by, um, goes by the ordering the precedent. So, this one here is three, then one, then two. Reset successful. Great job, Satendo, you did it. Three plus one plus two. It was so simple. The third generator, then the first generator, then the second generator. I was looking way into... I did not mean to skip that part. Alright, with that said, let's finally meet up with Melia and Vendim. It kind of also reminds me of Ocarina of Time when you were about to enter the, um, the Goma Spire fight before you fight her. Where you had the three... Um, <clears throat> those um, three Deku scrubs and you had to... Def and you had to get them in a certain order. It kind of reminds me of that. Please, that wretched old hag that lives deep within the concrete forest. She has fatally struck me once again. Are you seriously trying to swindle Amelia now? You know she won't fall for that. A girl's got to make her way through life somehow. It's nothing personal. Phantom, I'm trying to concentrate. Please keep it quiet on set. Alright, alright. I guess I'm done with the berry bit for now. I'm just so bored. You said you'd be done with, with this hours ago. I know, I'm sorry. I just can't really find the issue with this thing. But I'm trying my best to get things done, I promise. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you guys got here already. I was so engrossed in my work that I guess I zoned out my surroundings. Hey, haven't we met before? You seem really familiar. Did everyone meet Subtenant before me? Oh, I remember now. I bumped into you back at the lab. Sorry again. So, back on the generator issue. What exactly is the problem? Ah, so, what I'm confused about as of now, there seems to be nothing wrong. But as you see, this thing is still going haywire. It's quite old, though. Maybe this old guy is just falling over finally. I mean, yeah, when you kind of look at a generator, you can actually um, see... Uh, uh, I'm going to bring my mouse right here. You can see, like, like cracks. More cracks. Like, this generator, you can tell it's, like, it's very old. Oh, well. Let's just forget it. We should check on the results of our experiment. About that. When I got here, the bags of garbage we left here weren't here. Looks like our experiment to see if garbage bags actually turn into Garbodor in certain conditions is a fail. What? Wait, Milio, look, something's coming out of the generator. What? What? Is that? Wait, that's a Garbodor! And it's... its colors are different! It happened again, Milio, you're... What? What? Two more! Wait a minute, Milia. There are three of them, I think. I think our experiment worked. No way! What? Whoa! This thing doesn't look very f friendly. Don't worry, Milia. Sartino, I got this. Th thank you. Gorbo. Let's make this quick, Sartendo. So, have you all taken a very close look at that Garbador? No? Well, we'll get back to him eventually. Gonna go for a fake out. Hmm. Oh yeah, another thing I should mention about double battles, unless I already talked about this, but just in case, I'll do it again. Um... You can actually attack your opponent. I mean, you can actually attack your partner. 
I don't know why they let you do that, though. Wow! They all went right after me. Such jerks. Anyway, I'm just going to send in Warble and just to switch him back out. I mean, to switch him out for Chingling. Or, I mean, excuse me, Echo Ball. Are you kidding me? They all went for my Chingling! You jerks. That means no one gets that experience. Well, Wurmple does, at least. So, as you can see there, Garbodor is a shiny. But, you have probably have noticed that this Garbodor shiny is very different compared to, um, its, um, its mainline counterpart shiny. Uh, here's a side-by-side -side comparison between the two. Um, I kind of actually forgotten what the um, shiny gar the normal shiny Garbodor looks like, so give me a quick sec. Okay, I am back. So, as you see on Garbodor, he has a purple sack, a, a pur- <clears throat> Excuse me. A purple sack that's of course destroyed instead of a turquoise or a light blue. Um, instead of him having that traditional whatever the trash color is supposed to be is now blue. The stuff all the um, red and orange stuff all over it that was meant that's meant to be um greens and yellow that's now of course like I said red and orange. The reason why it is like this is because in Rejuvenation, they bring in custom shinies. Yes, there are custom shinies and Pokemon, I mean in Pokemon Rejuvenation, but also happens in Reborn as well. They also too have a, um, there are custom shinies as well. Though I do believe both Reborn and Rejuvenation have, to sh have um, the same shinies. We just get confusion on guard. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Wow. They all went after that Growlithe. Well, there goes that rubbish. Uh, why am I not surprised seeing Hypnosis miss? By the way, let's actually take a look at Hypnosis. It has a 40% chance of missing. And there's something that I like to call AI luck, where they manage to get lucky almost all the time with Hypno with, when using low accuracy based stat moves. I don't know why they always keep getting the dang luck. This could go very bad for me because Sludge is a. It's a special attack, excuse me. Okay, confusion, that's actually pretty dang good. Please get hit, please get hit, please, 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 please. dang it! I was hoping to go for one more hypnosis, but no. Man, Garbodor is fast. So yeah, that is the stat of yikes of confusion right there. Um, it lasts for in between one to five turns, and of course, if you get um hit in your own confusion, you take damage. By the way, I don't I know this works for physical, but I don't know about special. The more buffs you put in your physical attack, the more damage it actually does to um that Pokemon. 
when they're confused. Okay, I am not risking it. Whew. Water gun. Uh, it's a better than nothing attack, so I'm gonna get rid of water sport. What? Warple's evolving! And there we go, congratulations, your Warple evolved into a Silcoon. Silcoon will harden. You're mine. It's just too easy. As for the other two, please, don't just attack people like that. If you want to get people's attention, then you should be a little nicer. Thank you two for helping me out there. That guard totally took me by surprise. You two were awesome. That powerful combination was just so, so amazing. Yeah, even if you guys weren't strong enough, we always had this to rely on. Wow. What is it? It's a briefcase, Venom. My dad gave it to me right before he left. I opened it earlier and it just holds things like potions and stuff like that. But my dad told me to enter a secret code if things get, got really bad. If things got too dangerous, I would just have to enter that code. We'll be safe from harm. At least I think we would be. Uh, okay then. Anyway, the generator seems to be working perfectly now. I can get into my tr I can get onto my trip to Goldenwood Forest. But first, I think I'll head to Gearin Park and take more pictures for for my album. Gotta go, guys. See you later. So, what are you gonna do now, Suntendo? If you wanna get stronger. I hear Goldenwood. Wait just a moment. You could go to Goldenwood Forest, or you could come visit me at my gym. I, I challenge you, Santendo. Look at you, Santendo. You're getting all the opportunities. Yes, that strength you showed versus the Garbador really got me ready to battle. I was so. It's been so dang long since an actual good trainer showed up. Showed up. Excuse me. So, don't make this boring for me, Kay. I'll be waiting for you. Wink. Well, no point staying here then. Let's get out here. I have some research to do for the professor, so I'll be at Mongolia li Library. Venom's gym is just north of the shopping emporium. It's a giant white building. Can't miss it. Good luck with your gym battles, Nintendo. Hmm, actually, I have an idea. Okay, I think this would be, yep, this would definitely be a good place to end off today's episode. So, next time on Pokemon Rejuvenation, we're going straight back to side questing for a while. If you enjoyed today's episode, Please, share, like, subscribe, if you want to. And I'll see you all for the next episode. Have a nice day.